And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Callista Lucian. This is going to be our next deck for Rank Up Sunday. Um, this is a fun mid-range deck where we're going to be um, pairing the new Callista, which has looked really, really impressive, with Lucian. And um, these are going to be our two champions. Uh, so we're going to be, be aggressive, but both of them want our allies to die for us to level them up. You know, Lucia needs to see either Senna or four allies die, and Kalissa just needs to see three. So we have plenty of ways to have our own allies die. We have Ravenous Butcher that kills our own allies, Glimpse Beyond, um, Chronicler of Ruin, Ethereal Remitter. We can play all these things to kill our own allies. And it, um, mostly we want to kill the Undying, that's the best thing. Or, you know, Cursed Keeper. Those two things we both want to kill. We also have single combat to make our own allies fight at fast speed and maybe level up um, a champion at fast speed and take our opponent by surprise. We have On Guard where we can give our allies Challenger. Um, so, you know, we got a lot of good stuff there. We also have Atrocity that can kill our own ally. Um, yeah, and then, you know, we could use a removal spell on it too. Um, then we got Rekindlers, bring back our champions if they die. Radiant Guardian against Aggro. And just a, you know, just a good mid-range beatdown deck. That's what we have with a self-sacrifice theme. So it's pretty fun. So we're going to hopefully, especially level up Collusion and rally a bunch, get a bunch of attacks. Or level up Callista and bring back some allies. That's, that's the goal. All the while pressuring our opponent. So here we go, Callista Lucian. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. See how we do. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing our Legends of Runeterra set one preview stream. As far as I know, and that'll be at um, four o'clock Eastern. Um, for those of y'all that usually watch on YouTube, a link to the Twitch channel is in the video description. Twitch.tv slash Hawktie Live. As if you want to join the discussion of us talking about all the new cards. As far as I know, um, we will know the entire set tomorrow. As far as I know. So hopefully we do. And then we'll be going through all of them and talking about all of them. That's a good draw. That goes along with our uh, Ravenous Butcher. Which I think I'm going to go that route. Obviously the other route is just play Lucian and then try to play Senna next turn. But if we go that route, Lucian is pretty vulnerable here. You know, all the removal in the world would kill the Lucian right away. You know, Mystic Shots and get excited. And thermogenic Beams and everything. Ezreal-Heimer. Not so bad. Could be worse. Alright, so that's the first creature to die for Lucian to see. That's not me killing Heimerdinger. You name it, I'll make it. Is mercy. Don't mind me. Don't be calling 
Israeli forces. So this is number two for Lucian. And I know I could just like sacrifice the Senna and level up the, the Lucian. But I don't necessarily want to do that right away. Remitter puts a lot more power into play. But if I play Remitter, I don't have Glimpse Beyond available. I don't want to I don't want to like play Remitter and then they Static Shock and kill these both of these things, which I guess Static Shock can't kill both of these. Cuz whichever one they kill first, then the other levels up. Better to have a 4-4 four, four and a 3-3 three, three, or a 5-5 five, five and a 2-2. Two, two. Probably a 4-4 four, four and a 3-3. Three, three. Doesn't really matter what I do now. The like we're gonna win this basically no matter what I do. <clears throat> I just wanna level up my Lucian. That level up animation is just really cool. damage. Yeah, and dying is difficult to deal with, but, you know, we still have cool. we still have Lucian and Senna out there doing their thing. Alright, GG's. GG's. So we had a new champion previewed today, right? Pretty sure I saw a new one. Oh, there is a, a few different new champions today. Or at least there's this one that I, I didn't see. I haven't seen this one, Nautilus. I did not see Nautilus. Yeah, I did see Gangplank before. I didn't see it, Nautilus. They have sea monsters. Yeah, 
Nautilus's level up is sea monster allies cost four less. It is a pretty cool level up. Push back to darkness. You well, I think I think they're just gonna preview all the rest of them tomorrow, right? See, so yeah, I said there may be another one even tonight. So I don't want, I don't want them to like block with their spider. <clears throat> Last turn, and maybe they wanted to to actually play something after I attacked. So we didn't give them that option by just passing back and not attacking for one. They go wide with a bunch of spiders. We have Withering Whale. Maybe that means they have less Mystic Shots to kill Lucian now. Maybe. on my own. <clears throat> so Callista is fearsome, can't block Callista. Lucian has quick attack, not too worried there. So Nautilus says, when I level up, copy tossed allies that cost four plus into your deck. Not sure exactly what that, that even means. And it's, and it's level up when you are deep? What does that mean? So on, like there's some of these that say like the beast below says sea monster at the top of the card for the type of card it says sea monster but it's like one word there's no space shipwreck quarter has the same thing Okay, deep is you have 15 or less cards in your deck. Okay. Return to us. Hey, Marpoletti. Yeah, so the Nautilus brings back all the four plus allies that you self milled. So, like, does it. It just puts them back into your deck? That's what it means by brings back, like it brings them back into your deck.
I hope they don't have another Ruination. The deck usually just plays two Ruinations. I hope they don't have their second one. So I'm planning on Chronicling the Rekindler. That looks like something that someone would do if they want to Ruination. That wasn't a ruination. So can they survive? Looks like they'll probably be able to survive there, but up at 12. All they have to do is kill something. Grasp the Undying was a pretty good card there. Wow, another Grasp. It's also pretty good. Um. Try this. I think it's worth the try. This will be lethal if they don't have more removal. They don't get to gain the three life. I wish I could have my own two things fight. Single combat. No, that wouldn't help. Actually, yeah, that wouldn't have done anything. So they did have the other removal spell. They got rid of a Static Shock. And of course, in case of like Karina Veraza, like we don't need to just throw both Senna's out there. What's up, Conti? Happy Sunday. Yeah, we're still in a good position. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they play a bunch of remo they play a bunch of burn spells, so yeah, I can't. Yeah, that's a tough call. Making the dead deader. All right, we're gonna try to make the dead deader. They do have burn spell. Uh... 
Bleh. Sweet. Bonus surrender. It's crazy how much damage Ledros does. Yeah, you know, I was at 20. And then they just play a Ledros and attack, and I don't block it on that one. <laughs> you know, like it just does 19 damage. Oh, man. <laughs> well yeah hope, hope everything's good conti but yeah i just discovered fizz <laughs> it's a yeah fizz is a that looks like that's gonna be a pretty fun champion it's gonna be a wacky champion that's for sure fizz A wacky name. This would be a perfect time to draw Ravenous Butcher. That's what we'd like to draw Ravenous Butcher. Nailed it. I pull the strings. Nailed it. I don't want to trade Butcher for Precious Pet. So I don't want to attack with, with Butcher. <laughs> sometimes you draw what you need to draw. Doesn't always happen, but sometimes it does. It's always pretty nice when it does. Undying. Come on out here, the Undying. So I could see them not wanting to block with the spiders because of, you know, they probably want like the spiders in play to level up Elise. I wanted to use a single combat to kill a champion. Um. Uh. 
So, yeah, what does Nautilus do? Basically, it looks like Nautilus... Um, when you play Nautilus... Or, let's see. So, basically, when, when Nautilus levels up, every ally that cost 4 plus mana in your deck that you tossed previously, so, like, that you exiled from your... Or that you got rid of from your deck previously, you... Um, oh, the single combat was a good draw. You reshuffle those back into your deck, basically. Yeah, and then he levels up when you have 15 or fewer cards in your deck. You'll serve one way or another. Yeah, and then also, yeah, your sea monsters also cost or less when he's leveled up. Let me change into something more. Alright, so now we want to draw Withering Whale. Withering Whale. That's not bad. That's not bad. I can take out the Spider Queen. Do I want another Undying? I'm worried another Undying will clog my battlefield too much. It's basically I can get a free Undying or not. I guess we'll get the free Undying. No vision. I was, certain, I was really worried about vision. So they discarded a precious pet and a legion rear guard.
No, I was gonna attack with Callisto. No. I was going to attack with Callisto. Oh, that's that's a good point, Marpaletti. So yeah, Mao Maokai is trying to get rid of the opponent's library, but then if you just play, um, you know, you just play Nautilus and then level up Nautilus and bring them all back. Yeah, that is a, a hard counter. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Fish versus plants. <clears throat> Cannot get rid of the ocean. The ocean will come back. Alright, champs and rekindler. They do have Heimerdinger and make turrets. Maybe the Withering Whale will do something at that point. See ya, Callista. Dinger. I don't like this Heimerdinger. I don't like this Heimerdinger one bit. Cherry rig. This is going to be tough to get through all these turrets. We're not in the worst spot. We're not in the worst spot, but...
It's just better to sacrifice one of these undyings and grow an undying. So I have... Ooh. I have one Callista dead already. You know, so I have a Callista and a Lucian. So like, we'll be bringing back Callista with Rekindler. What a Have the room to grab another undying. Hmm, maybe I should just cast Wither and Will this turn. Maybe. I don't know, are they just gonna Wither and Will me? Aggressive attack. Just got rid of all of their blockers. That's quite an aggressive attack. No. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you figured it out, Constant. Yeah. Deep is like a once once you are deep then you it's just like a one time thing. Once you go under under fifteen cards, you're just deep for the rest of the game. Is that putting into play? Can't even tell what that thing is. Oh, it's a Senna. I... So they are blocking this incorrectly. Hmm, that was the plan. I guess that's the plan. Still don't really have room to play Rekindler because we have the other Undying that needs to come back. Too many 
Now we got room for rekindler. I'm reading a rubbish is really nice. I want to take out Heimerdinger, which is why I want to double Withering Whale. Well. That's my goal. Wouldn't it be surprising for them to have another Heimerdinger, of course? Um, but hopefully not. Hopefully not. Kill my three ones. I like my three ones. We need to draw our atrocity. We can't actually be attacking with Heimerdinger, right? Callista. Would have loved to attack with the Callista this turn. With Callista. You know, Callista would have brought a Rekindler, which would have got me another Callista.
And there we go. Heimerdinger has done what Heimerdinger does. We are out grinded. Atrocity. That could be worse. I'm going to drain three from this unit right here. That one right here. Drain three from that. Yeah, see, they should have done that during combat. Before I drew cards. But, you know, obviously they could still have some, some kind of counter, but they had get excited in hand. They should have done that during combat. Oh, wow. Okay. They just had all their get excited. Alright, took Heimerdinger to take us down. We have our first loss with Call Callista Lucian. Turn 5 Heimerdinger uh, that I never killed. And, um, you know, five turns later we're dead. I know, right? We need Grasp going to the face. That is why I put more interaction in this deck, though. You know, like whenever we played this deck the last time. I didn't have Atrocity in here. I didn't have Vengeance in here. But now with Vengeance, Atrocity gives us a little bit more for cards like Heimerdinger. But Rekindler, bring him back Heimerdinger also. Forgot about that. That was rough. Uh, nope, nope. <laughs> Hey Matoto. Hello. They won't get past me. <laughs> Atrocity, I need you last game. But no, I did not want a Theral Remitter or Atrocity. Five or five drop, six drop. Those aren't aren't so good. I guess we just get to bank this two mana for the single combat for later. You know, if I can Callista single combat kill the Elise. Next turn, that would be nice. And then maybe Chronicler the Callista to reset the power toughness, like reset the toughness back to, or the health, I guess, back to three. Uh, where I am right now, it is 5.10. That's the time it is right now. It's time. Uh, I guess now they just use the spinning axe. Spinning axe changes things. I still like that trade. I basically can never block Draven, so that's definitely feel like that's a good trade for me. <laughs> Over there, you're already. It's already Monday for you, Conte. Yeah, you're. 
You're writing from the future. <laughs> no, don't attack with Elise. Need to block Elise, but I don't want to. I'll do better this time. You will suffer long. Basically, don't want the spinning axe to kill my chronicler of ruin because I, I feel like I need to ethereal remitter and get a random six drop and hope that that six drop is awesome. I don't know what what six drop I'm looking for, but I think that's just kind of what I need to do, and then I can have single combat afterwards. Uh, but Elise is going to be leveled up. Single combat's not even very good. My true Come on, six drop. Well, that didn't really help. The people are my strength. Yeah, it did not help. What was I supposed to do? Not attack with the Callista? I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do this game differently. My hands just been way too slow. I could have mulliganed the Chronicler of Ruin. I guess I really should have done that. My hand was just way too slow, and you know, my first two draws were the five drop and the six drop. You know, drawing Ethereal Remitter, Atrocity, those are the first two cards. It's just not not what we need for that matchup. We need, you know, like our like we we played against that twice, you know, like we won the other time, like where we had Cursed Keeper plus Ravenous Butcher on turn two. That was that was a whole lot better than nothing. Um But anyway, uh, yeah, I think I think we did definitely make some upgrades to this deck. This deck felt pretty solid. Um, you know, don't win all of our games with Legends of Runeterra. It's a, it's a tough game to do that. But um, yeah, I just kind of I like these cards. I think I think uh, there's a lot of good stuff with these Shadow Isles cards. Um, Ethereal Remitter looked kind of slow. Could see going less of that card for even like more interaction or some more earlier stuff. Um, potentially, potentially. I do like the Fleet Feather Tracker. Um, I don't really like hap like Hapless Aristocrat's good against the spiders, but I don't really like it in any other matchup. But it is good against spiders. So I don't know. Maybe if spiders prove to be problematic. Then you could go more like uh, hapless aristocrat and everything like that. Um, anyway, there we go, though. That's Callista Lucian. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And in the comments, let me know what champions or decks and stuff that you want me to build around. What do you want me to uh, make for day one whenever we're going to be playing uh, the new set on Tuesday? Um but uh, I guess one last reminder, we got the set preview tomorrow. We're going to be talking through all of the cards. So if you want to join in on the discussion, of course, the uh, Twitch link is in the video description. Just twitch.tv slash Hawktie Live. And uh, yeah, that'll start at 4 o'clock Eastern tomorrow on Monday. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Callista Lucian, and I'll see you for the next video.